सुचि पूम तस्ग्रजावरी पुरी मचूरी को Прежде всего я предлагаю свою шаштанг дандават пашпанжили, свое сердце подобно лепесткам цветов тысячи и тысячи раз из лотосных стоп моего духовного учителя, Нитя Лилы Правишты и Опишну Бада, что от Рашата Шри, Рупану Качари Вари Шрилы, Бхакти Веданты Нарайны Госвами Махараджи. Secondly, I offer my pranam thousands of times at lotus feet of my Param Guru Dev, to Shila Prabhupada. And all of us, even when we call you Guru Parampara. So, today I propose to each of you to pray for the strength of my Guru Parampara, the Shri Prabhupada, and the Shri Rupanuji Guru Parampara. And finally, I offer my pranam to all the Samal Vaishnavas and Vaishnavas. For the completion, I propose to offer my pranam to all the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavas. is confined to their earthly bodies made of earth, water, fire, air. На этой планете сознание живых существ обусловлено их плотью, их оболочкой, в которой они заключены, которая состоит из пяти грубых элементов: земли, воды, огня и пира воздуха. And within that they are struggling, especially with their subtle body, 
mind, intelligence and ego. И всем э, трудно дается существование всех тонким телом, астральным телом, с интеллектом, умом и ложным эго. The souls are uh, in a state of uh, ignorance. Души находятся в состоянии невежества. And all their choices and activities for the living beings, especially in this Kali Yuga, those are in passion and ignorance. They're dictated just by the karma, by the instincts. Большинство людей, которые находятся под влиянием, сильным влиянием раджаса и тамаса, все их желания и поступки находятся под полной диктатурой невежества. As an animal doesn't know anything except for his bodily activities, so we see that by and large, most humans today have that same level of consciousness. Большинство современных людей стали подобным животными, подобно тому, как животное не не знает ничего, кроме своего животного поведения, существования. Люди стали очень подобными животным сейчас. Преина алпа аюса сабья калава сминду кейдена манда саманда мартио манда багу утада. Means that the human beings in this Kali Yuga they have very short lifespan. Людей в Kali Yuga очень короткая жизнь. And they engage in a bitter struggle. Во время этой короткой жизни человек вовлечен в постоянную жестокую борьбу за выживание. And their intelligence is slow. И люди такие тугодумные стали, интеллект слабый. Люди слишком ленивые, чтобы серьезно заниматься духовной практикой. И даже когда кто-то пытается серьезно заняться духовной практикой, возникает много препятствий и трудностей. Above this plane of existence, this Burlok, this earthly plane, there's Bhuvalok. Над Бурлокой, над нашим планом существования есть Бхувалока. And there, the living beings, they don't have gross physical bodies, their bodies are made of tan matras. They are the subtle components of the elements. And above that, there is a swarga log. Where the body of Indra is a more sattvic transformation of ahankara. And then above the planet of Indra is the planet of the planetary system of Mahalok and Tapalok and then Satlok Lut Brahma's planet. Each plane becomes more and more fine, more subtle. And the pleasures, the happiness of those planes becomes greater and greater and lifespan becomes unimaginable for us. Very vast lifespan. But beyond the Brahma Lok, Sati Lok, there is the Viraja. Но над сайте локой находится Вираджа. The causal ocean. Причина. There is no passion at all there. No rajas, no sattva even. Там уже нет. Там no gunas at all. Вираджа, то есть там уже нет раджаса. Если нет раджаса, то нет сатвы. Вираджа actually means without rajas, but because the three gunas always connected means there are no gunas there too. Слово Вираджа подразумевает, что если отсутствует Раджа, то уже отсутствуют три остальные гуны, потому что они всегда вместе присутствуют. То есть там уже нет влияния материальной энергии. And then beyond that is the Brahma Jyoti, the light of the spiritual light of Brahma. Это Вираджа уже Брама Джоти, сияние Брамана. And beyond that there are the Vaikuntha planets. А за Брама Джоти уже расположены планеты Вайкунхи. Where Bhagavan himself exists in his Opulent features, Lord Narayana. And higher than Vaikuntha, beyond Vaikuntha. Еще более утонченный план существования, чем Вайкунха. Is Golok. Это Golok. So that Golok, Sriya Kanta Ha Kanta Ha Parampush Rasha Kalpataro. Rumabu mischinta mane gane ganamayim toyamam ritam kata 
Gananam natyam gamanam yavangsi priyasaki Tidanandam joti param apitada swadyam apicha There in Golok, uh, the Sri Krishna is eternally performing his pastimes. With Lakshmi Devi, the origin of all Lakshmi is Radha. But in Vaikuntha there is one Lakshmi Devi on each planet, but in Golok there are millions of Lakshmis, but they all have the Abhiman, I am a coward called the Gopi. На каждой планете Вайкопа живет лишь одна Лакшми, а на Галоке миллионы Лакшми, но каждая это Гопи, но каждая уверена, что она простая пастушка. All the trees there have the power to fulfill any desire. Там растут волшебные деревья, которые могут исполнить любые желания. In Vaikuntha, there are some kalpavritsha trees. На Вайкопе есть тоже есть kalpavritsha деревья. Но не все деревья там исполняют желания. But in Brindavan, every small plant, every shrub, every little creeper actually has, has the power of Kalpavriksha. Но во Бриндаване каждый кустик, каждый сорнячок, там, каждая травинка, они обладают этой мистической силой исполнять любые желания. Chintamani, in Vaikuntha, they have some wish-fulfilling transcendental jewels. But in that Golok, even the, all the dust is Chintamani. На Вайкопе есть волшебные камни Чинтамани, которые исполняют желания, но на, Вай... на Галоке каждая пылинка – это Чинтамани. Катаганам, speaking is like song. Речь там подобна пению. If the speaking of the ordinary people is like singing, then what is their singing like? Если, если речь простых людей там подобна красивому пению, то как можно описать их пение, то как все поют там? Да, 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 да. Walking is beautiful like a dance. If the walking is like dancing, then what is their dancing like? Походка жителей Вайкопа подобна танцу. А если их походка подобна танцу, то как уже можно описать красоту их танца? Pranandam Jyoti, Chidanandam Jyoti, Paramapi, Tadaswa Dhamma Picha. Now, this is in Brahma Samhita, something very deep is being explained. Тут очень сокровенно описано тут Brahma Samhiti. Chidanandam Jyoti. Meaning is this. Chidanandam Jyoti. In Bhagavad Sandarbha. Bhagavad Sandarbha. Srila Jeeva Goswami Pada said, Aikam Eva Paramam Tattvam. Sobhavi ka chinti shaktiya sarva dhaiva sarupa tad rupa bhai bhav jiva pradhan rupena chatudava chishtite suryanta mandala stit tej tad bahiga tad rashmi tad pratich chavi rupena The meaning is that the supreme absolute truth is one. Bhagavad Sandar Bhijiva Goswami Pad abhisnyai shto absolutna vusha istina adna but that Supreme Absolute Truth, Sri Krishna, by His Achincha Shakti, inconceivable potency, is eternally existent in four features. So those four features are Swaru, His own divine spiritual form. And Tadrup Vaibhava. That means Tadrup, his form Vaibhav, means the splendor, the, the glory or the jyoti, the light emanating from his form. So Chidanandam Jyoti means the, the light, the glory emanating from his form, Apitadaswadyam Apicha, has attained a state of uh, uh, relishableness. So, that Rupa Vaibhava means see Krishna's Dham and all his associates. It's quite astonishing. In other words, Krishna's Dham and his associates, they are not different from his Swarup. They are Swarup, they are manifestations of his own self. 
То есть обитель Господа и также все его спутники, они не отличны от него самого. Это проявление его великолепия, его сияния, его формы. Then Krishna also exists in the form of his jivas. Krishna также вечно существует в форме своих джив. And Maya, the material energy, material world. And how they all exist together. See, the Jiva Goswami part is giving the example. Jiva Goswami объясняет, каким образом Господь вот так существует в четырех проявлениях вечно. Just like the sun god. Подобно Богу Солнца. He has his planet. У Бога Солнца есть его планета. Which is his own energy. То есть его собственная энергия. And from that, millions of photons are coming. Из Солнца исходят миллионы фотонов. And very far away, you can see a reflection of the sun. In a in a mirror or in water. И находясь далеко от солнца, мы можем увидеть отражение солнца на поверхности озера или там в зеркале. So all these four exist together, but they are all dependent on Surya himself. То есть все эти проявления существуют одновременно, но полностью зависят от самого Бога Солнца, Сурья. So in the same way, see Krishna, his manifestation of his Surup is his Dham, and then. Outside of the dam, jivas, millions of jivas like photons are emanating. That's all of the living entities in this world. То есть и вот это сравнение с Богом Солнца, что что есть Кришна, его форма, а так. They're existing and they're dependent on him, but they're not existing within the purview of his tadrupa vaibha. Вот Кришна есть его форма, и также есть его вайба, его великолепие, его аура, которая принимает очертания его обители, его спутников. They're existing, but not within the atmosphere. Of his own, the glory of his roof. То есть это Кришна и его аура, а вдалеке, далеко от его ауры существуют эти бесчисленные дживы, как фотоны солнца, они далеко от солнца, но они полностью во всем зависят от солнца, они независимы, но они одновременно на планете солнца не находятся. But just as the sun may be reflected in a distant place, very far from the sun, so similarly the reflection of the spiritual world is this Maya Shakti. Подобно тому, как мы тут на Земле можем увидеть отражение Солнца где-то на какой-то поверхности. In terms of its form, it has some similarity, but in terms of its quality, it's a difference between gold and iron. То есть, и вот это отражение духовного мира, мы находимся в этом отражении, в иллюзорной энергии в мае. И поверхностно вроде бы оно похоже, но качественно огромная разница, как между золотом и железом. So, we're speaking of the dam, Galoka dam, the transcendental. Обсуждаем духовную обитель Галока даму. So, Chidanam dam jyoti. Chid means the Krishna's awareness potency, Sambit Shakti. Chid это энергия сознания Кришны, Sambit Shakti. And Ananda means Ladini Shakti, Krishna's pleasure potency. Ananda is the Ladini Shakti, energy of joy of Krishna. So when these two potencies come together, they make bhav, ecstatic emotion. Сливаясь вместе, самбит и ладини создают вот это экстатическое чувство бхаву. So all the substances of the spiritual world are the condensation of the light of that ecstatic emotion. И в духовном мире все объекты являются проявлением. Все состоит из вот этой эстетичной эмоции. For example, например, Шимати Радика, she wants to hear the name of Krishna. Радике хочется постоянно слышать имя Кришны. So that emotion, which is Chidananda, which is Samvita Ladini, when it takes support from Sandini, Sandini Shakti existence. Then it manifests in the form of Radhika's golden earrings. И когда вот это желание Радики, это эмоция слышать всегда имя Кришны, и эта бава ее состоит из самбит и хладини, из энергии сознания и блаженства. И когда она получает поддержку от сантини шахти, от энергии бытия существования, тогда она принимает внешние контуры Сережек Радики, золотых Сережек Радики. So her bow, Chidananda. Ее бава, Chidananda. Has a glow. 
Она сияет. And that glow being supported by Sandini Shakti manifest form, and that is the earrings of Radhika. That is her greed to hear about the name, form, qualities, and past. И когда энергия Сандини подпитывает эту эмоцию, то есть дает фундамент этой эмоции, она принимает внешнее очертание золотых сережек на ушах Радики. Oh, being very very chaste. Radhika feels shyness. Radhika очень целомудренна и она легко смущается. So the bulb of her shyness has, uh, with the support of Sandini, Chidananda with the support of Sats, has become her cloth. So her cloth which is covering her body, that is her, uh, in this way her laja, her shyness, not to reveal her beauty to anyone. As manifest in the form of her cloth. It is. What that emotion, emotion, radiates, получает получает поддержку от энергии бытия сандини. Она превращается в блузку, в одежду радики, которая скрывает ее тело от тебя. Her desire to love Krishna in so many different ways at the same time. Radiki, love Krishna, одновременно в разных проявлениях, разными способами. Oh, has become Lalita Vishaka Chitra Chapa Kalata into the old Sakis and. Even the other Chandravali and Padma Shaya and all other gopis. Radiki wants to love Krishna completely. And this desire to get the support of Sandini Shakti takes the form of all the other gopis, Lalita, Vishaki, Shaybi, even Chandravali. All this desire of Radiki to serve Krishna, to serve Krishna. It's quite amazing. It's incredible. It's just amazing. So the dam of Krishna's Brindavan is also the condensation of the ecstatic love. This is what Brahmaji is saying. Brahmaji Champaka, Chavi, Aho, Nana, Rasulasini, Krishna, Prima, Payoda, Reena, Rasa, Dena, Tyanta, Sammohini, Goprenda, Majavallabha, Vijayate, Radeva, Vrindatavi. Srila Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati Thakur is saying, What is this? Srila Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati Thakur is saying, What is this? See, Krishna is walking into the forest of Vrindavan. Krishna is walking into the forest of Vrindavan. And he is looking around. Он смотрит по сторонам. I'm just seeing the forest of Vrindavan. See, Krishna is in ecstasy. И он млеет. Он просто при виде леса Вриндавана Кришна тает. Why? Vipraja Tilaka. He is seeing the effulgent golden. Sesame flowers. When he sees the colorful flowers of Kunjuta, and when he sees them, he remembers Simati Radhika's tilak. Glancing at the flowers, he remembers the tilak of Simati Radharani. Niloga, Nilambaro. He looks at the flowing waves of the dark blue Jamuna and sees Radharani's cloth, her shyness moving. He sees the flowing waves of the Jamuna and he remembers the flowing waves of Simati Radharani. Danchat Kancha na Champaka. Oh, he sees a beautiful vine with uh, golden champak flowers, which have the complexion like Radrani, and it seems that Radrani is gracefully moving. Rasulasini. And Krishna becomes overwhelmed in Rasa, seeing the Rasa Swarup of Radhika in Vrindavan. He видел the Tarasa Swarup of Radhika во всех этих формах Вриндава, но приходит в восторг. Krishna prema payoda reena rasadena, and he sees the hills. Он видит холмы. And the waterfalls are coming down the sides of the hills. Стекающие из этих холмов. And he remembers the breast of Radhika with perspiration running. Krishna hasn't even met with Radhika. He's only going into the forest. Already is. This is what it means Rasa Vaisa that the supreme truth is full of Rasa. Просто углубляется, уходит в свой плес, и тут он уже находится в таком состоянии восторженном. Вот это и есть Раса Вайсаха, высшая истина, преисполнена Расы. 
The whole forest of Vrindavan is completely bewildering to Krishna. So all glories, all glories. Radheva Vrindavati. To that forest of Vrindavan, which is actually no different from Radhika herself. <coughs> Radha Krishna won the Dhamis the Tadrupa Vaibhav. So for Krishna, the forest of Vrindavan is Radhika's Vaibhav. And for Radhika, the forest of Vrindavan is Sri Krishna's Vaibhav. Because when she goes into the forest and she sees a Tamal tree, <laughs> then she starts embracing the Tamal tree. Так как Радика и Кришна это одна реальность, неотделимая реальность, а лес Бриндавана, весь Бриндаван это их вайба, проявление их великолепия. Поэтому, когда Кришна смотрит на Бриндаван, он видит Радику повсюду. А Радика, глядя на Бриндаван, видит Кришну повсюду. И увидев дерево Тамал, она бросается к этому дереву и начинает прижиматься к нему. The ecstatic bars of Radha and Krishna, the vibe of the glory of that is manifested as Goloka Vrindavan. You see, and this is why, just understand. When Radha and Krishna met in Kurukshetra, Radhika said, Priya so young. Krishna Satsari Kurukshetra Milita Staham Saradam Tadidam Ubayo Sangam Sukam Stapyam Take Lam Madura Murali Panchaya Dushay Mano Mei Kalindi Pulina Vipinaya Sprihaya Si Oh, my dear Saki Vishaka, I am the same Radharani and this is the same Krishna and we are meeting together. It's an ever fresh and new meeting just as when we were meeting in our youth. But still, my heart is yearning to be on the bank of Jamuna, in the forest of Vrindavan, hearing Krishna play the fifth note upon his flute. Радика поделилась своими переживаниями своими ближайшими подругами Лалита и Вишака. Она сказала: "Я та же самая Радхи, он тот же самый Кришна, мы снова повстречались. Но мне тут как-то не по себе, мое сердце рвется снова оказаться на берегу." So Krishna is there. Krishna, the Krukshet. Radhika is there. And Radhika is with him. The gopis are there. The gopis are there. But because the dharma isn't there, their praying cannot manifest. But love, completely, she is there. 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 Matura Udvaka, I want to go back to Vrindavan. So how glorious is the Dham? For praying to manifest, there must be four things. Krishna, Radhika, the Sakis and the Dham. And if any one of them is missing, then praying cannot manifest. Radha, Krishna, Саки и Дхама. И если один из компонентов отсутствует, то прямо не может в полноте проявиться. So, in that beautiful Vrindavan Dham, и в этой чудесной Вриндаван Дхаме, in the forest of Vrindavan, в рощах Вриндавана, see Krishna is waiting for Radhika. Krishna ждет Радику. The maidens of Radhika. Have been decorating her so beautifully. Служанки Радики долгое время наводили ее макияж, готовили ее к встрече. First, they bound the ankle bells of Radika and covered her with a dark cloth to sneak her out of the house in Java to go to the forest. Чем подготовили к вылазке из дома Джатила, они завязали колокольчики на ее ногах тканью, чтобы они не звенели, и также накинули темную накидку Радики на голову. In the forest of Vrindavan, there are so many very beautiful, colorful flowers that are luminous and glow in the dark in different colors. Vrindavan, in the forest, there are so many beautiful flowers that are luminous and glow in the dark in different colors. But Brinda Devi never makes them grow close to the village. No, Brinda Devi не позволяет этим цветам расти рядом с деревней. Around the village, she puts a ring of her tamal trees, very dark. And all the glowing plants are the other side of that. So Radhika, once she's got some distance away from the village and enters into the darkness of the tamal trees, then 
She can go into the beautiful forest and no one will see. Как деревня окружена. Bring the daily keys. Принта посадила множество темных деревьев тамал, как забором окружила деревню, а все эти сидящиеся цветы растут глубже в лесу. Как только Радика убегает из дома тогда и убегает в глубь леса, то там есть подсветка такая живая. So the Sakis bring Radhika to a beautiful kunj where there's a Sringar Bhavan and then they make all the ornamentation so perfect and attractive. From the head to toe, a masterpiece. Vardana Vishy Hari Nishkuta Brinda Vipini Rupa Manji is saying Dhamadar Rati Vardana Vishy I have decorated Radhika from head to toe in such a way that it is the making the Rati of Krishna expand And then those maids of us are bringing Radhika through the forest to where Krishna is waiting. So in Gara Yani, Babitim, Babisari Yani, Vikshai Yani, some prophetaj in the Sudam Rishitha Bhavani, Sila Vishnu Chakrachakur said, and when Radhika approaches Krishna, at the distance, Krishna looks and sees that Radhika has come. And the moment Radhika sees Krishna and sees that Krishna has seen her, he turns around and walks away. Then that manju thinks, alas, alas, I made all these decorations, but they'll all be wasted, and grabs around Radhika by the cloth and starts pulling her towards Krishna. So they're pulling this way and Radhika is pulling that way. So when will Radhika point a finger at me and say, let go of me? I'm a chaste woman, I'm not like you. Let me go. And Radhika will abuse me with very harsh words. But those harsh words will be like nectar. This is the nature of Vrindavan and everything becomes upside down, reversed. River of Frame flows in a crooked way. Usually rivers flow down, this river flows up. Very strange place. So, then finally, struggling, that maidservant brings Radhika right in front of Krishna. Наконец-то эта служанка, она силой как-то она побеждает Радику и подтаскивает ее к Кришне. So in this way, when though Radhika is eager to meet with Krishna, it's the nature of praying, the praying will last. Then she becomes her man. A contrary mood begins to manifest, and she shows so much contrariness to him. То есть Радике на самом деле очень сильно хочется оказаться рядом с Кришной. Такова природа любви, что проявляется постраптивость ее ман, капризность, и она начинает наоборот удаляться от него, убегает. But by the beauty of Krishna, by the sweet words of Krishna, by the sound of Krishna's flutes, Radhika's man. Begins to melt. Этот ман он растворяется как под влиянием красоты Кришны, его игры на флейте, его сладких слов. And she becomes submissive to Krishna. Радика становится очень подальнее, покорной Кришне. And then there, there is the prospera vasibhava atishoy, a great increase in rasa, because. Radhika has become submissive to Krishna, and Krishna has become submissive to Radhika both. Потом происходит такой всплеск красы, потому что они взаимно подчиняются, предаются друг другу полностью. Радха Кришна, Кришна Радхи. Now it becomes like Yatava Kaswa Pati Prati Bimba Vibrama, like a child playing with his own reflection. It's actually one person. Now Radhika, how they're embracing and playing with each other with a complete harmony. 
Их встреча становится настолько гармоничной, как игра ребенка с собственным отражением в зеркале, так они обнимаются, касаются друг друга. So, Sila, Prabodhananda Sadhguru Thakur said, Vishuddha Dvaita Ika Pranaya Rasapiyo Sajalado Gani Brute Dvipe Samudda Ayati Brinda Banamaho When Radha and Krishna meet and they feel pranai, oneness with each other. Shila Prabodhananda Sarasvati Thakur Gud Kataradika and Krishna во время своей встречи испытывают полное That is the true Advaita, non-duality. It's Vishuddha Advaita Ika Pranaya Rasa. It is the Vishuddha Advaita, pure non-duality of the um, Pranaya, the Pranaya Rasa, the love of Radha and Krishna. When Radhikas become man-free. То есть они, они радики в ман полностью отступают, и они испытывают полное единство, ощущение э, единства и э, близости. Радан Кришна фил oneness with each other. Чувство полного со со союза, слияния друг с другом. And that frame expands like an ocean. Это према, их любовь начинает разрастаться, как океан, расходиться. And that ocean condenses and condenses. Этот э, океан, их любви становится все более насыщенным. And in that ocean, it condenses so much that an island appears in that ocean. И океан настолько с таким таким густым становится, что посреди его появляется остров. Made of the condensed Vishuddha, 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 Vishuddha Aika Prema Pranaya Rasa of Radha and Krishna. Этот остров появляется посреди этого океана любви. Он состоит из вот этого чувства чувства единства и любви Радхи и Кришны. That island is Navadvipta. Этот остров это Навадвиптама. Where Radha and Krishna play in a combined form of Satchinanda and Govinda. Они настолько оказались близки, что они проявились уже в соединенной форме с Шачинанда на горе. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Radha and Krishna's primary vilas vivarta murti, the embodiment of Radha and Krishna's bewilderment of their loving pastimes. То есть Mahaprabhu это вот эта форма Радхи и Кришны. Они настолько заигрались. So Navadip Dham is the Tadatma Vaibhava of that Swaroop, the Prem Vilas Vibhartha Murti. So, see, Lord Brahma, he said, Sayyatra Kheera Gheer Kira Vishravati Surabhipriyas Chasu Maham Nimesha Jakyam Va Vrajati Nahiyatra Pi Samaya Bajay Sveta Dvipam Tamaham Yagolo Kaitiyam Vidanta Steshanta Shitibira Lachara Katipaye The next verse of Brahma Samhita is saying That is Shitibira Samhita There is a divine realm where time does not pass even for half a second. It's the eternal present. And that realm is called Sveta Dweep. And it is also called Golok. And it is known by very, very few, very high-class Mahabhagavad sages who are wandering on this earth. So, we mentioned that from the beginning, first there is this gross physical plane. Mahalok, Tapalok, Mahalok, Janalok, Tapalok, Satyalok, Brahma Jyoti, Vaikuntha, and beyond Vaikuntha there is Galok. So here Brahmaji is saying Galok is also known as Sweta Dweep because it has its two aspects that is the Galok of Vrindavan and Sweta Dweep is the name of Navadipta. Что Брамаджи объясняет, что Тагалока также живется света Двиба, то есть это дви, два измерения на этой Галоке, это Галока Вриндавана, где Радхи Хай Кришна живут, и также это 
обитель Читания Махапрабу, Навадвиптама. So, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Jeeva Toya Kari Swaparsada Sri Adhava Sahaya Patari Out of causes mercy for all the living entities Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Once in a day of Brahma He manifests in this world, but he does not come alone. He comes with all of his associates and with his dharm. So that very highest confidential secret place in the highest realm of the spiritual sky, Svetadvip, Navadvip, Manifest in this world. То есть это то самое сокровенное место, этот остров, океане любви, радхи и Кришны, света Двипа. Этот остров проявился тут в форме на вот Двип дама на земле. And this is where he was sitting. И это то самое место, на котором вы сейчас сидите. Шила Кришна сказал, что Господь Пацет, чем там они были, как по брикшам моя вам, чама чекше декитара прапанчера сам. The holy dham is made of chintamani, wishful filling transcendental jewels and forests of desire trees. But to the charma chakshu, chakshu, charma chakshu means your these meat balls here. The eye is made of meat. Then, though the dham is fully transcendental, it appears to be prapanchera sam. Just another material place in the world, which is made of five material elements. Krishna has come around to us now and explains that the whole of the sky is filled with chintamani. Each of the petals is chintamani, and all the trees are the desire of wishes. But our these three petals, our eyes, our eyes, they do not see the spiritualness of the dham. We just take it as an ordinary place. Chintamani bhumi, kalpa vriksha maya bhan, charma chakshe deki tara. Therefore, one should not try to see the dawn with the eyes. Поэтому Вайшнавы предостерегаются, не надо пытаться увидеть святую обитель глазами. But one, the dawn may reveal, the swoop of the dawn may be revealed to us. Дама может явить свою сварупу, свой духовный облик. For those who have seva vritti. Тем, кто относится к ней с духом служения, сева вритти. So, как сила пробудная мессая звати так уже сед. А раданам навабанам бражакананан тей. На раданам навабанам бражаива дхуре. А радито двиджа суто бражанагара стей. На радито... If someone does not, if someone worships Navadvipta, then they can very easily attain the realization of Braja. It's not easy to realize Vrindavan. What is the level of your Bhakti? And what is the level of Lord Brahma's bhakti? Compare. But what did Brahma ji say? Tad buri bhagyam ya janma ki mak kitabiyam ya gopale vi katamangri rjo visheka. I will be lucky if in some future life I could become a stone. In Brindavan. Brahma ji молился, говорит, как бы я, я бы посчитал своей величайшей удачей возможность родиться в форме камня во Брендаване. So what chance do you have? Какой шанс у вас есть? And compare what is the level of the bhakti of Lord Brahma to Uddhav? А затем сравните уровень бхакти Господа Брахма с уровнем бхакти Уддхавы. Lord Brahma came to Braj. Just completely made offenses. Tried to steal Krishna's friends. Krishna didn't even talk to him. Krishna didn't even look at him, and he just he was ashamed, and he had to. Krishna полностью проигнорировал его, и Брахма было так стыдно, он уже ни с чем удалился, помолился, поклонился и отправился к себе. So Udav is very very near and dear to Krishna. А Udav очень близкий друг. Krishna, Prabhu, Ramanji, Krishna, Sadaita, Sakha. 
Pag uda na spread asang maho, tsara na reino, du siya mahamsang, brindava ni, ki mapigol na la tao sa dina. Ya Diyos, sa jama, sa jana ay, patam, sa hit, tuwa, bejo, kundi padabit, sa tuwa, bimek yam. Oh, it would be a matter of great fortune for me if in some future life I could become a blade of grass or a herb or shrub, a creeper in Brindavan to get the touch of the foot dust of Braj Gopis on my head. И Удава, будучи таким доверенным, близким другом Кришны, он молится о возможности стать кустарником, кустиком во вреда, во враже будущей жизни. How can a person born in this Kaliduga with a short lifespan, who is in the, engaged in a bitter struggle for existence, completely identifying with their body like an animal, hmm? he's gonna go to the Kaliduga with that? And how can a person born in this Kaliduga with a short lifespan, who is in the engaged in a bitter struggle for existence, completely identifying with their body like an animal, hmm? he's gonna go to the Kaliduga with that? And how can a person born in this Kaliduga with a short lifespan, who is in the engaged in a bitter struggle for existence, completely identifying with their body like an animal, hmm? he's gonna go to the Kaliduga with that? And how can a person born in this Kaliduga with a short lifespan, who is in the engaged in a bitter struggle for existence, completely identifying with their body like an animal, hmm? he's gonna go to the Kaliduga with that? And how can a person born in this Kaliduga with a short lifespan, who is So, but Sri Prabhupada and the Sarjan Thakur, he is saying, Arad, Araditam Navadvanam Brajakana Nante. If you worship Navadvip, you will attain that Brindavan. But Sri Prabhupada and the Sarjan Thakur say, if you want to read the Navadvip Dhamma, you will be able to reach that Brindavan. And if you don't worship Navadvip, then Brindavan will be very far away. А если вы не почитаете на Вадвип Даму, то Вриндаван будет оставаться далеко от вас. And if you worship Arari to Dvijasuto Brajanagara stay, if you worship the son Dvijasuta, that is the son of Jagannath Mishra, Nimai Pandit, Vishambar Mishra. А если вы будете поклоняться сыну Джаганатхи Мишры, How is he worshipped? Вишвамбар Мишры. Я гьяй санкиртана прайя джанти сумейра хаса. А как ему можно поклоняться? Чайтани Мапу is worshipped by Харинам санкиртана. Чайтани Мапу можно поклоняться Харинам санкиртана. So if you worship that Чайтани Мапу, then Brajanagara stay, then you will attain Brajanagara. That is Krishna as the Upapati, the paramour lover of Brajagopis. If you want to be close to the Supreme Mahaprabhu, Nam Sankirtana, then you can get close to that Brajagopis, that is, the hero of Vrindavan, the beloved of all gods, Krishna. It's very rare. It's a very rare opportunity. Imagine. Even great Rasik Vaishnavas be in Braja. Даже величайшие Расика Вайшнавы, которые жили во Врадже, например, в Нимбарка Сампрадая, есть очень возвышенный Вайшнав, которого звали Бхагават Расик. So he wrote, Кагу Саркия, Кагу Паркия, Калапа, Калапи Киеи, Калапи Киеи, Матабади, Джори Расик, Джори Bhagavata Rasika ki nitya ananta anadi. It says there are persons who are introduced by imagination, this idea of Swakya and Parakya, and it's just made a quarrel and argument. By their imagination, they come up with this idea of Swakya and Parakya. What is this? Therefore, Jori, Bhagavata, Rasika ki nitya ananta anadi. My Radha and Krishna, they eternally, without beginning and always together, playing in the kunj. My Radha and Krishna, they are eternal, they are perfect, they are in the kunj, and they are playing. So he's not wrong. He's not fool. He's a great saint. He has prayed. He's seeing the pastimes of Radha and Krishna. Realizovaney, who are seeing the Lila Radha. But he's seeing the Nityamila Radha and Krishna always together. And he sees only in this vegetable union, in Nityamila, that they are always together. For him, the idea of Swakya Parakya is it's it's irrelevant. So he doesn't listen to anything about Swakya Parakya. He thinks that it's not even relevant. Because Radha and Krishna never go home. Because they never go home. It doesn't matter whether they both go to Krishna's house, because they. Married or whether they go, Krishna goes to Nandigal, Radhi goes to Yava because she's married to someone. It doesn't matter because they never leave the kunj. But this is not fully human-like. Но вот такая лила, нитя мила, не является полностью нарова человека. Она не может быть полностью сладкой, потому что в ней ишвари, как кто может... Люди там вместе не сидят. The full 
true sweetness is manifested in Bukhupatiba. То есть полная сладость в Мадуре проявляется, когда есть вот эта параке, незаконность от любовных отношений. Just like the word Upapati includes the word Pati. Слово Upapati, то есть другой бурж, оно включает себя слово бурж. Паракия includes all the bars of Swaki, but more. То есть паракия уже всегда включает всю Swaki, плюс дополнительные пикантные элементы. So this special, one of this, you understand what is Prabhu Nanda Sarasvati was saying here. Ah, told Dwijja Sutta, if you worship Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you will attain Krishna and realize him as Upapati, Brajanagara state. His beautiful pastimes with Radha Krishna not married and everything, all their meetings are secret and full of intrigue and suspense. And more rasa, and more separation, nourishing the meeting. То есть осознайте все их вот эти приключения лилы, которые отношения, на которые заложен социальный запрет, как они прячутся от старших, как им трудно встретиться, как насыщены их встречи. How is it that such a great Vaishnava can realize the pastimes of Radha Krishna, but in eternal meeting, not in the incredible ocean full of waves of rasa of the parakya mood? How is it possible? Why? Aradito dvijitsu tutsuto brajanagara stake Naradito dvijitsu to Nataveya Krishna Without worshipping Chaitanya Mahapu one cannot enter into the deepest realm of Madhur Rasa Как могло получиться, что такой возвышенный Вайшнав, такой Расик Вайшнав не осознал ту самую сладкую составляющую Лил Радхи Кришны а мы его понимаем, почему Прабхупада Сарасвати так коротко объясняет, тот, кто не почитает читание Махапрабху, не сможет познать этот самый сокровенный аспект Лил Шри Кришны. Поэтому мы подытожим сейчас, Contaminated persons of this Kali Yuga. We are very, very far away from Goloka. Жители Кали Юги очень далеки от Голоки Вриндаваны. But Radha Krishna himself has appeared as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu along with their dham. Radha Krishna сами пришли в облике соединенной форме Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Which is Mahaprabhu's Tandrupa Vaibhava. Вместе со своей дамой, которая Tandrupa Vaibhava. Which is present here, but beyond the purview of your material vision. И эта дама тут мы просто ее не видим своим материальным зрением, мы не воспринимаем ее, но она во всей своем великолепии тут. But which reveals itself to those who worship that dam. И она, если захочет, явит себя тем, кто с уважением и любовью относится к ней. And worship such an ancient god. И те, кто почитает ее господине, да, что она ancient god. And how do you do that worship of the dam? А как мы можем почитать его и даму? Пада Сейвана. That is why we are about to begin Navadip Dham Parikrama. And how do you worship such an allegory by Harinam Sankirtan? And that is why while performing the Navadip Dham Parikrama we will have a constant Harinam Sankirtan. Gora Braja Jane Vedana Deki Bo Hoi Bo Baraja Basi Dame Raswarup Spuri Vega Yale Hoi Bo Radha Rodasi See the Bhakti Nauta Kaur said Oh when will I see no difference between the Navadvip and Brindavan. Between the associates of Mahaprabhu and the associates of Radha and Krishna. Then I will become a Brajabasi. Dhamma and Swarup Spuribenaye and the Swarup of Navadip Dhamma manifest to my eyes. And Navadip Dhamma will reveal its Swarup also as Braj. Dhamma will show you another side, like a branch. Dhamma and Swarup Spurit Pei Naine, Hoi Bo Radha Radasi. Then I will become Kamala Manjari. And I will become Kamala Manjari, Slojanka Sri Mati Radhi. Sri Labhati Nauta Kaur. Then I will become absorbed in my identity as Kamala Manjari, 
the maid servant of Radha and Krishna. So you are all very, very fortunate. So we want to just now have a perform Gora Arati. And devotees should don't move. Uh, devotees should take rest. And fully energetic and here before by 5:30 before 5:30 in the morning. With all the flags and the banners, the Mahamantra, the Panchatattva, at least four medangas, and all the instruments. Shila Gurudev will lead us through the Parakram of the central island. Navadhikam is like a lotus flower and we start in the middle, so we we'll do Parakram of the central island and then around eight petals and back to the center again. See Navadita Parakamaki, Sassina Dangoi, 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 Sassina Dangoi,